Hi there, this is Dave Jones from VideoFXUniverse.com and um, some of you may have remembered my old uh, basic tutorial on animation and how to create a star field using a uh, Millennium Falcon from Star Wars. Um, I've decided to redo this uh, because nobody could actually download the, the project before and you can actually now do that on the website so this is a newer version so basically it's basic animation version 1.2 um, and obviously what I'm going to be doing is uh, explaining a few of the um, the gizmos and the objects in the um, display here and then I'm going to show you how to animate the um, actual ship okay <coughs> right the, uh, the most commonly used tools that you'll find in uh, animation or creation of your uh, model, 3D models um, you'll find are here. Now basically this button here is our um, 3D space tool. Um, basically you can um, uh, move up and down, you can move left and right and you can move backwards and forwards. Hang on a minute, if I just grab this one, the green one, backwards and forwards. These are um, relative to our X, Y and Z axes which creates 3D space, you see. Um, also we have our um, rotate tool, which um, a rotate tool here which um, rotates an object in any of the 360 degrees that you get in a sphere or in 3D space. Okay so you can rotate anything like that and here you have your scale button which um, does exactly what it says on the tin it scales up it's you know it scales sideways and it scales out now this is something that you will need to use um, every now and again um, right we also have our pointer here which um, obviously selects objects and deselects them um, down here we have our uh, basically like our view controls and because we've got a camera set we um, have this button here which zooms in and out now if we click on the left viewport here it changes into a magnifying glass it does exactly the same thing but the left viewport is not a camera um, you have a hand tool which basically moves it around we have our revolving tool which uh, revolves around so as you can see the camera moves when I move it around down here you have our um, our timeline. As you can see, it's uh, set from zero to a hundred. Um, obviously, when you move forward and back, uh, these are actually uh, the frames going through your animation. Now, obviously, a um, hundred frames is not very long at all. It's around about two seconds long in video. Now, if your scene it needs to be longer than two or three seconds, you click on this button here, and you'll get a um, a menu come up and you can change the time to around a, to anything you want so I'm going to change it to 600 for example uh, rescale time and as you can see our bar turns into 600 frames um, like I say you don't need to have it on that but for this tutorial I'm going to keep it at 100 okay right also we have our auto key and our set key buttons uh, it's important that you know what these are for because they, they do two separate things now if I just um, highlight everything right, if we select our auto key select a keyframe move forward and then we move our ship you'll see that a keyframe is automatically added so no matter what you do uh, with auto key set on you have to be careful because if you change a camera change a light or change an object it will automatically add it as a keyframe so you need to be careful with that so if I turn that off for the moment just delete these two keyframes go back to zero set key is uh, kind of different set key you have to manually set the keys so obviously I'm going to set a key at zero and if I move to the left or something like that you see it doesn't it doesn't add anything here so if I just do that again move it over you'll see that no key has been um, added in this point here because it, you have to manually add the key yourself okay so um, obviously you need to watch out for that so if I just uh, just reset the, um, the ship back to its original position and as you can see uh, the ship is made up of many different layers different parts if you can see this there's a, there's a, a part there 
um, you've got the satellite here um, now obviously if you're animating with an object with multiple parts um, it can cause problems because if you rotate or move all the parts come to pieces and this is not a good idea because if you try and turn the ship the whole ship will just kind of uh, fall apart so what you can do to this is select all of it so that it's all highlight highlighted here go up to group select group and you can assign a name for it I don't know like mill falcon okay now it has become one object so as you can see I've only you can't click any of the smaller objects in here because it's now all one object and it's easier to animate and it doesn't fall apart now as you can see I've got all of the um, the ship highlighted however there is a bit of a problem here because this is something you do need to be aware of when you're um, hold on let's just move this down is that my camera here has two points it's got the camera point and it's got the target point now unfortunately the target point has been grouped with the whole ship so what we need to do is highlight the ship click group ungroup and now it goes back to its individual parts click on this bit here which is basically um, object by name and as you can see these are all the parts of the ship that create it now what we want to do is find the camera target and it, as you can see it's highlighted here hold down control select it and click select now we can group our ship again right basically now you'll see that we have our um, camera and our camera point see we've got the Millennium Falcon as a whole object and we've got a camera and our camera target right so basically that's really um, this part of the tutorial really it's um, you don't really need to know too much uh, at this point um, it's because obviously Max is so huge and if you if you um, get too into it straight away you'll end up getting confused and scratch your head so basically I just thought I would show you the, uh, the most basic um, and commonly used gizmos as they're called um, for any animation sequence that you're doing so from, from the next part I'm going to show you how to actually animate this ship okay